welcome to Real World AIP, the YouTube channel dedicated to helping you implement the autoimmune protocol, but it might also be helpful to you if you're just into clean eating and whole foods in general. I'm Stacy, and today is going to be another edition of Minced. Basically, I pull some little pieces of paper out of some mason jars that have meats and starch and veggies on them and flavoring. I take whatever combo I come up with and try to come up with a tasty dish. So let's see what the ingredients are gonna be today. Dun, dun, dun. White fish squash herb deprovance comfort food. Oh yeah. Fish pie, baby, fish pie. I like to peel the butternut squash by getting the ends done first. That way I can do one straight line down the butternut squash to get all the skin off of. Next, obviously, I'm just gonna cut the butternut squash in half, get the seeds out, and I'm gonna take off these, you know, uneven, odd ends first, experiment with those. Um, and that way, if I have the rest is left over, I can cut it into pretty cubes. So, let me just get this in my Vitamix. I'm gonna rice it up. By the time it, most of it got to where it was raced, I actually had a puree. I'm gonna roll with this puree thing. This could be interesting. <laughs> I'm gonna puree the squash with green plantain, raw green plantain. So what do I have here? Two pounds of butternut squash puree. Ugh, way too much. Okay, so I'll puree up two pounds of raw green plantain and uh, I'll just freeze half of it in case I wanna make this again or I'll experiment with it or whatever. All right, so I'm left with a pound of pureed butternut squash and a pound of pureed plantain. So I'm gonna add some salt and seasoning to this, this batter. I'm gonna go with mm, a teaspoon of salt and a teaspoon of Herbs de Provence. I'm gonna put about a tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil. This bowl's a little too small, but I don't wanna dirty another bowl. So I'm gonna make it work. <laughs> Just can get this mixed up. I'm also gonna chop up some onion, some celery, and some mushroom. I have some oyster mushroom here. All right, let's put this dish together. So I'm gonna grease the bottom of this square glass dish with some filtered coconut oil, but you could totally use avocado oil or lard or Whatever the heck AIP approved oil you would like. I like coconut oil because it's easy to see where you greased it and then the rest can just be used as hand lotion. But I know not everyone tolerates coconut oil. You can actually do that with avocado oil too. It's not bad at all for your skin. It's good for your skin. Okay, so I'm gonna put my um, chopped onion, celery. I used three stalks of celery. Um, onion, celery, and mushroom bottom and then I'm going to layer some white fish over the top so I have some haddock I'm gonna use get this gorgeous fish all right and I'm just gonna put it so that it covers the um, the veggies equally it's probably about a pound and a half you could do a pound, but I want a little extra fish in there. And that's what I had. Beautiful. And then on top of our fish, I want to pour a little more herbs. Herbs de Provence mix. Whoa. And then I'm going to salt it up. And I'm gonna put some fresh squeezed lemon juice on there. I'll use two wedges. Oh, I hate getting lemon seeds in my mouth. It's the worst. I have a little minced garlic I had in the fridge left over from when I made something else. That's gonna be great on there. That's about a clove. Eh. Two cloves. 
right, and then the batter. Pound of squash, a pound of raw green plantain. And I'm basically, I want to smoosh this down into the cracks and crevices. I want to get it down to the bottom. I want it in the veggies. So I want to smoosh it between the fish. And have it just seeping around everything. I'm gonna pop this in the oven at 425 and I'll tell you how long it took after it's done it's been one hour and okay that dish wasn't big enough when you're using plantain batter you really need to go um, like maybe two inches meh, an inch and a half thick no more than that because what's happening is like I go in there and the middle is all raw and the ends are starting to cook and then I gotta re-spread it put it back in um, I should have used a larger dish number one um, well that's the only number yeah bigger dish so anyway we're looking at probably an hour and 15 minutes for this but we could have cut it down to about 45 minutes to an hour had we used a bigger dish but this is minced I'm learning as I go I don't have a written recipe so it's gonna be awesome though it's just taking longer and some of it bubbled over and smoked up the kitchen but uh learn from my mistakes use a nice big rectangular glass dish do you guys see that bubbling right there I'm trying to zone in on it it's super thick it like created its own gravy oh let's take this out and look at it see how that's holding together oh Rusty golden outside, flaky fish on the inside. All right, let's try this. It looks perfect. Oh, the crust, like when you go into the crust, it, it's got that <clears throat> texture like chicken pot pie. I don't know, you can feel it going into the crust. This is a big piece. Oh man. Ding, 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 we have a winner. <laughs> you stole my heart. That combination of plantain and butternut squash m made the, like a gravy, like a crust on the outside and a gravy on the inside with just a hint of sweetness, but not sweet. Like not really sweet, it's just like perfect. This would be good with chicken in it too. Not that I can eat chicken, but I ate chicken before it started giving me migraines and there's a video with chicken in it, like a chicken pot pie. But that crust, that equal parts of the butternut squash pureed with the green plantain. Oh my gosh. Make this. So I hope you found this video fun, useful, entertaining, something. Um, let me know what your favorite part of the video was. If you want to see more exclusive recipes that never make it to YouTube, check out my Patreon. I do put up a recipe once a month um, for two dollar up patrons and you also get access to all the back recipes things like cultured cream cheese and no cook no tomato sauce new tomato sauce sorry um no tomato is trademarked just in case you didn't know um all kinds of good stuff up there so anyway check out my patreon and subscribe if you haven't because i post new videos every thursday sometimes it's friday because my life is really crazy but uh anyway I hope to see you guys soon, and until then, be healthy! Something's done cooking. <laughs>